Well, what's AEY? Remember, according to trigonometry, that's force AE times the sine of this angle, 60 degrees. And all that still equals zero. So I just replaced AEY, this Y component of that force, with AE sine 60, because that's the same thing, okay? And so now I can say AE, the actual force of this member, is, and I'm going to subtract 3,500, so it's on the other side of my equation. And then I'm going to divide both sides by the sine of 60. And so just through a little bit of algebra, subtracting this over, dividing both sides by this number, we can actually solve for this force. And that will be one of our member forces, okay? So we have negative 3,500 divided by the sine of 60. Now I got a negative answer. So what does that tell me? It tells me that when I assumed tension that this member was pulling away from this joint, I was wrong and it was actually in compression. So to draw this correctly, I would have had this arrow pointing in towards the joint. So that tells me, and I'm gonna make a note here, that this member is actually in compression. It's not in tension, it's 4,041.45 pounds compression. So I know for a fact that this member is being squeezed together when these external forces are applied to this truss.